Welcome back to the Battlefield Walker channel. I'm finally back in the woods again after two or three weeks and I've got a new permission here in Cold Harbor. Anything in Cold Harbor has some potential and so I'm gonna walk this bottom and walk this cut over and walk this creek and maybe I'll walk up on some Civil War relics. <laughs> This is very interesting. I just got down in this cutover and I see where this tree fell over. And obviously, we've got a lot of broken glass and pottery right here. Oh. I don't know how old that is. That doesn't look real old to me. Royal something guaranteed, I don't know. We haven't found anything Civil War yet, but that sounds like a bullet. Ground's very sandy. Out of the ground already. Oh! Looky there. There you go. First Civil War target of the day. A beautiful dropped three ringer. Very shallow, and like I said, in this sand. Um, you know, really looks good. Very quiet, except for shotgun shells and and that one three ringer. And boy, we're in some pretty sand. I hope we get into some relics today because golly, this sand is going to be good to them. Oh, looky there! There's two shallow Civil War bullets in just a couple of minutes. That makes me happy. Right. That sounds like a bullet to me. Still in there. A little more digging required. See that right there? <sighs> yep. Now that's a fired three ringer. Weak signal here in the in the swamp so the hole's filling up with water as fast as I can dig it out ought to be out of the hole by now oh my it's not out of the hole uh, shotgun shell yeah, you got to dig a few of them all right we're we're still digging in the swamp pretty good signal there probably another shotgun shell well, what happened to that there it is and we have a uh oh I kind of see green that just goes to show you and I thought this was gonna be another shotgun shell but we do have a button now one thing about hunting the swamp the water's right here to wash it and see that's an eagle button there's the back of it and there's the front of it just a general service eagle button 160 years ago some Union soldier was traipsing around this creek and this button fell off his uniform. So I'm guessing this is a shotgun shell right here. Yep, shotgun shell. Okay, I've decided to move out of the cutover. Felt like rust. Nope, brass. I see green. Piece of brass, but I don't know what it's to. I don't know what that is. All right, not a great signal. Huh piece of melted lead okay that's not a bad sign I was just walking along and I saw a piece of blue glass there and then I saw that and while I don't know glass I know I found a flask exactly like this in a Civil War trench with six or seven or eight gardener bullets laying in beside it it's a lot of trash in here though. That wasn't a bad eyeball find though. Just dug the door of a wood stove and I think it's all down in there because this whole side of this hill right here is full of iron signals. That looks to be... Oh, have we got a bullet? Yeah, we do. There's a dropped three ringer. 
Well, I was wrong. It's a little pistol ball. Uh, maybe a piece of melted lead. Tiny. I haven't had any luck after lunch. And I got a deep signal that was just a whisper at the surface. <clears throat> Let's see if it's still in the hole. I'll be surprised if it is. It is still in the hole. There's another three ringer. Just dug a hole in this creek. I got a whisper of a signal. And the machine says it's in here somewhere. Looks like a bullet. Maybe a round ball or something. That looks to be about a 54 caliber to me. I'm not sure. I got a feeling this may be ugly to dig. Nothing to do but get started. Yeah, there's definitely a signal there. And it sounds like a Civil War bullet to me. Alright. Heavy muck. Okay. That's pretty deep if it's still in that hole. That might be a bullet. Yep, I think so. You might think it's smaller caliber, but it's just been eaten up by the swamp. So stuff is still here. I'm, I'm thinking this is a bullet too. Well, it appears that I dug it up and now it sounds iron. Nail or nut or peg or something. Man, I'd call this hard relic hunting. Swampy, rooty muck. This is either real dedication or real stupidity. Yeah, I got an iron signal down here in the swamp. And I was not expecting to dig a colonial hoe. That thing's been down here a very, very long time. Half a horseshoe. Shotgun shell. Why am I not surprised? I feel like I should have hit it by now. It's definitely lead. Possibly the remains of some carving. Just a piece of iron. Screw cap. Yeah, just a lot of junk in here. Yeah, that's aluminum. A bottle of some kind. A screw top. That was just aluminum foil. Yeah, just another piece of iron, I think. Piece of farm junk. There's a nail. Ready? Oh! First decent sounding hole I've had in a long time. Probably melted lead? This definitely sounds like a better target. What is it? A bullet? Yeah, that's a bullet. Three ringer. Very good shape. Protected in these woods. But wow, this is like digging through a, a back deck. It sounds like a bullet signal. Wow, I'm going to dig through that big old nasty root. Yep, that's what it is. Alright. There's a three ringer. I just barely skimmed it with my digger. Hard to imagine. But so much carnage happened here. And there's evidence of it right there. And I just found more rivets in leather in the same little stretch. Missed it then, found it now. And I got a great signal here. Is that it? Just a round ball? Whew, that was a loud signal for that. Man, I guarantee you I'm working hard for it today. And I'm getting a really good signal right here. Mm. Yeah, that's a bullet. Some kind of bullet. I believe that's a 54 caliber. It's been eaten up by this low ground dirt. It was good to be back in the woods in Cold Harbor today. I'll tell you, hunting down in that swamp with all of those roots and all of that muck, 
it was kind of hard hunting today. I was really glad I found that little eagle button uh, in the edge of the creek there. That kind of made it worth my trip to go. And I came out of the woods with, I don't know, six or eight bullets and a couple other little things. Um, but the real reason I wanted to talk to you here at the end was to talk about this little flask that I found laying on top of the ground in the cutover. I thought it was a perfect match to a flask that I once found down in a Confederate trench. I was wrong about that. I do have a flask exactly like this, but it's one I just picked up somewhere. It's not the one out of the Confederate trench. I'm going to show you that one in just a second, but let me tell you the story first because it's a story that I love. I was hunting in a place, this was years ago, down in Cole Harbor. In fact, it was just off of Boswain Creek. And I was hunting along and I got to this Confederate trench and as I scanned the top of the trench, I got a couple of iron signals. And I dug down and I found two perfectly matched heel plates. But the thing that really impressed me was they were sitting side by side exactly as they are here in my relic case. They were sitting side by side as if a soldier had laid his boots up on top of the trench and just never came back for them. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I don't know why those two heel plates would be sitting perfectly side by side right on top of a Confederate trench. So I go over the trench and I'm hunting down in the dugout part of the trench and I get a good signal and I dig a gardener bullet. Well, there's more signals in the same hole, so I keep going and I found a few more bullets. And then in the middle of this little group of dropped Confederate bullets, I find this little whiskey flask. I think I ended up pulling eight bullets out of that one little hole with this whiskey flask. And that gave me even more questions. W what happened there? You know, did a, did a Confederate soldier have a little bit too much whiskey and fell asleep down there and the bullets found, fell out of his cartridge pouch? Had he taken his shoes off and laid them up on the trench for some reason and never got a chance to retrieve those boots? Or did he steal a pair of boots off of a body and took his old worn out ones and just set them up on top of the trench? We'll never know. But that's the kind of thing that keeps me relic hunting. That really interests me um, how those boots ended up on top of that trench, how that whiskey flask with those dropped Confederate gardener bullets ended up there all together. I really enjoy relic hunting and I hope you enjoy going along with me. If you have enjoyed the Battlefield Walker channel, it would help me if you'd subscribe and until we go relic hunting again, I hope we're going to be able to get on some relics. I just haven't been able to find them in the last couple of months. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a dry winter for me in terms of relics. But we will go again. Hopefully we'll find some more stuff and get into some good Civil War relics. Until we do, I'm the Battlefield Walker. You be sure to be good and say your prayers.